Section 8, accident prevention signs, tags, labels, signals, piping system identification, and traffic control. Signs, tags, and labels shall be provided to give adequate warning and caution of hazards and are provided to instruct and direct both workers and the public. All warning systems such as signs, tags, and labels shall be visible at all times when the hazard or problem exists and shall be removed or covered when the hazard or problem no longer exists. All employees shall be informed as to the meaning of the various signs, tags, and labels used throughout the workplace and any special precautions that may be required. Signs, tags, and labels shall be provided in the languages of the workforce. This may require multilingual signs or more than one sign being provided for the same hazard. This example of OSHA color coding system, yellow indicates caution, orange typically indicates dangerous parts, red indicates a dangerous situation, green indicates either emergency egress or uh, safety related information, blue provides informational information, and white, black, and yellow in a diagonal is typically housekeeping or traffic related uh, information. Here are examples of several different types of uh, accident prevention signs. As you can see, green is on the job safety. Red is a danger type sign. Yellow indicates caution. And blue is just additional uh, information available. Here are examples of accident prevention labels. We see a red danger tag in the corner, yellow caution tags, orange labels indicating voltage or other information needed for the uh, employees, all barricades, warning signs, lights, temporary signals, flagmen, and signaling devices shall meet or exceed the minimum requirements of the local department of transportation. Here's an example of several different types of barricades. Barricades are a physical obstruction such as tape, screens, or cones intended to warn of and limit access to a hazardous area. Warning signs provide additional information as shown here, information such as high voltage, area under construction, crime scene, do not cross, or police line or police information. A signal person shall be provided when any of the following conditions exist. The point of operation, including the area of load travel and area immediately surrounding the load placement is not in full view of the vehicle, machine, or equipment operator. Vehicles are backed more than 100 feet. The terrain is hazardous. Or two or more vehicles are backing up in the same area. A flag person or other controls shall be provided when operations or equipment on or next to a highway create a traffic hazard. An exception shall be made only when an adequate mechanical signaling or control device is provided for safe direction of the operation. Signal persons shall back one vehicle at a time. While under control of a signal person, the driver shall not back or maneuver until directed and the driver shall stop when visual contact with the signal person is lost. The signal person shall have a warning device of clear range and penetrating sound to warn persons when the load is coming in so they have time to get in the clear. Prior to the commencement of contract operations, the contractor shall submit for acceptance the complete details of the proposed traffic control plan. The plan shall address the maintenance of traffic and access through the contract work area. The contractor shall coordinate with the GDA and obtain approval and any required permits from local authorities prior to closing or restricting any roads. Barricades, danger, warning and detour signs as required shall be erected before any roads are closed. These are the components of a temporary traffic control zone. The first section is an advanced warning area which tells traffic what to expect ahead. The second area is a transition area and it moves traffic out of its normal path typically using cones to direct traffic into the single lane. The next area is the activity area, is where the work actually takes place. 
It has two components. The first area is the buffer space. It's longitudinal with the traffic and provides protection for traffic and the workers. The next area is the workspace. It is set aside for worker equipment and material storage. After the workspace is the termination area and it lets traffic return to its normal operations. These are examples of typical traffic control signs. First we have the orange square on edge providing information to the drivers. Also available and used are uh, electrical panel display types with uh, either moving arrows or chevrons indicating traffic direction. And if there is a traffic control person being used, the person typically has a stop and slow sign on a single pole. And in emergency situations, the person will be directing traffic with a flag. The identification of piping system, including pipes, fittings, valves, and pipe coverings, shall be in accordance with Table 8-3 of this manual and comply with the ANSI ASME A13.1 color scheme and directional flow requirements. This table, which is by pipe diameter, indicates the length of the color field and the size of the lettering required.